Acute purulent otitis media develops as a result of dysfunction of the auditory tube, leading to obstruction of its lumen. The main cause is inflammation of the mucous membrane in the upper respiratory tract, accompanied by swelling of the auditory tube orifice and impaired ventilation and drainage function. Obstruction of the auditory tube creates negative pressure in the tympanic cavity. This creates favorable conditions for serous exudate to form. The inflammation is accompanied by hyperemia of the mucous membrane in the tympanic cavity, tissue edema, and infiltration. Subsequently, a bacterial infection joins in, converting serous exudate into purulent exudate. The pressure exerted by purulent exudate on the eardrum contributes to its protrusion hyperemia and thickening. The procedure is performed under local anesthesia. Indications for myringotomy of the eardrum are severe pain exudate that may evolve to suppuration, progressive hearing loss, severe intoxication, as well as the risk of spontaneous perforation and complications. Myringotomy is performed in the anterior inferior quadrant of the eardrum, which minimizes the risk of damage to the auditory ossicles and other anatomically significant structures. The incision ensures the outflow of purulent contents from the tympanic cavity. Evacuation of exudate promotes a rapid decrease in pressure, alleviates the pain, and prevents any possible complications. Once the tympanic cavity is debrided, the inflammation subsides. Subsequently, the eardrum regenerates due to the proliferation of epithelial cells and restoration of the fibrous layer. In uncomplicated cases, complete healing of the perforation hole occurs within one to two weeks and scar tissue does not form.